When you think of telescopes, you most likely imagine long-standing tubes with pointed ends. Through these tubes, you imagine that you'll be able to see the wonders of the universe. For the most part, you're not wrong. However, that's not all there is about telescopes. There are also ELTs. These are extremely large telescopes that are as big as an entire building. Today, we'll talk about one of these ELTs, the insanely huge telescope called the Giant Magellan Telescope. When the Hooker Telescope was first turned towards the sky in 1917, no one knew what observations and breakthroughs it might bring in the future. Within a decade, astronomer Edwin Hubble used it to observe the distant galaxies and predict the expansion of the universe. Whether it is the Hubble Telescope, Hale Telescope, or the James Webb, telescopes have always been a marvel in human engineering. However, a telescope with giant in its name got to be something. We are talking about the Giant Magellan Telescope, which is the largest Gregorian optical infrared telescope ever engineered, providing the widest field of view of the universe with seven of the world's largest mirrors. The telescope is under construction at Las Campanas Peak at the southern edge of Chile's Atacama Desert. While the Hubble telescope has always introduced us to some amazing pictures from the depths of space, and James Webb Space Telescope stepped up the game, the Giant Magellan Telescope, when finished and functional, will have ten times the light collecting area and four times the spatial resolution of James Webb Space Telescope and will be up to 200 times more powerful than existing research telescopes. The Giant Magellan Telescope, or GMT, will be located at 8,200 feet on the peak of Chile's Cerro Las Campanas, in a 22-story structure that is now under construction. The ultra-dry air at high elevations in the Atacama Desert provides some of the best views of the night sky anywhere in the world. The massive telescope will have four times the resolving capability of the JWST, allowing it to show distant galaxies, star birth, and the compositions of exoplanet atmospheres a critical field of research in the hunt for alien life. The start of telescope operations, known as First Light, is scheduled for 2023 and will employ just four mirrors. In 2025, the first observations with all seven mirrors will be made. Today, the pots are being filled in Japan, the furnace is being lighted in Arizona, the Earth is being broken in Chile, and construction on the GMT is currently underway. The GMT will be one of the few supergiant Earth-based telescopes that will revolutionize our understandings of the cosmos. The GMT is a segmented mirror telescope composed of seven of today's biggest rigid monolithic mirrors. The manufacturing of the telescope's mirror is a modern marvel in engineering, making the GMT one of the most sophisticated telescopes on Earth. The first GMT mirror is now finished. It's in Tucson, sitting in a climate-controlled storage container on a trailer, waiting to start its voyage to Chile. The Mirror Lab has been granted the go-ahead to cast more mirrors, despite only having one in the basket. At the Arizona Lab, four GMT mirrors are in various levels of construction. Now that the procedure has been validated, the team wants to create the potato chips quicker. The mirror blanks will be coated with a tiny layer of aluminum to make them reflective in the last part of the process, which will take place at the telescope's construction location in Chile. The GMT is getting closer to first light when these mirrors will turn to face the heavens for the first time. Two new technologies have enabled telescopes to measure the universe with more accuracy than ever before since the 1990s. The first is interferometry, which combines several telescope observations to stitch together an image with the same resolution as a single massive telescope and is excellent for viewing the surfaces of other stars. The Mirror Lab's test tower employs interferometry to generate contour maps of the glass surfaces. The GMT will employ adaptive optics, which is the second big development in telescope technology. Adaptive optics is one of the most complicated engineering features used in this telescope. The secondary mirrors of the telescope are bendable. The adaptive secondary mirror is specifically designed to keep the telescope in focus. This 3.25 meter diameter mirror will likewise feature seven circular segments similar to the primary mirror segments, however the secondary mirror segments will be just 1.6 millimeters thick. Even in the high Atacama Desert, air interference may degrade the accuracy of astronomical observations greatly. Adaptive optics technologies enable telescopes like GMT to attain extraordinary precision equivalent to a space telescope. Hundreds of actuators are located beneath each secondary mirror surface and are continually adjusting the mirrors to compensate for air turbulence. These actuators, guided by powerful control algorithms, will convert flashing stars into bright, steady points of light, four times sharper than the JWST. 
The Center for Astrophysics Scientists and Engineers are vital in the design and installation of these control systems. The GMT's position also provides a significant advantage in terms of viewing through the Earth's atmosphere. The GMT will enjoy exceptional conditions for more than 300 nights a year in Chile's Atacama Desert, which is one of the highest and driest regions on the planet due to a lack of rainfall. Las Campanas Peak has a height of about 2,550 meters and is virtually totally devoid of vegetation. Las Campanas Peak is a great location for the GMT due to the combination of seeing, frequency of clear nights, height, weather, and vegetation. When it all comes together in the 2020s, the GMT will be able to resolve an object the size of a dime at a distance of 60 miles, which is an order of magnitude more than JWST's resolving capacity. Such a range of vision offers up a world of possibilities. But the most important use of GMT will be to answer, are we alone? The main purpose of the GMT is to look for habitable planets in habitable zones around stars. Scientists want to look for biosignatures to know whether there is life on those planets. This topic will be addressed by the GMT Consortium Large Earth Finder, or GCLEF, the first sophisticated instrument planned for GMT, the design and construction of which is being overseen by the Center for Astrophysics. GCLEF has been tuned for extreme precision velocity detection, allowing it to identify the presence of an Earth-mass exoplanet orbiting sun-like stars. To identify the compositions of celestial objects, sophisticated spectrometers will measure the light captured by GMT. When an exoplanet passes in front of the star it orbits from our perspective, the instruments on the massive telescope will be sensitive enough to distinguish the light passing through the planet's atmosphere from the rest of the starlight. Light passing through the atmosphere will have gaps in the electromagnetic spectrum, absorption lines that disclose the presence of certain chemicals in the sky of that world. The GMT will direct its attention on neighboring exoplanets such as Proxima b, which orbits the nearest star to us, and the seven Earth-sized planets around TRAPPIST-1, which is less than 40 light-years away. The telescope will also seek for indications of life in alien atmospheres on hundreds of additional planets discovered by astronomers all around the Milky Way. With its massive light-collecting surface, the gigantic telescope sitting in the high Atacama will also be able to identify extremely faint objects. Early star formation will be investigated with unparalleled accuracy, and galaxies further distant, older, and less luminous than any ever seen will be discovered. In addition to looking for life in the galaxy, the GMT will allow astronomers to explore the universe's most primordial eras, probing the firmament to put our fundamental rules of physics to the test. NASA recently launched the $10 billion James Webb into space. Compared to the GMT, the GMT's 24.5-meter aperture will dwarf James Webb, but it will provide an unrivaled view of the stars beyond the atmosphere. Furthermore, James Webb will conduct observations mostly in the infrared, whereas GMT is designed to detect light in the visible range. GMT has the potential to be complementary to the James Webb Space Telescope. James Webb, for example, will be well-suited to researching the very early cosmos since light that has been traveling for billions of light years has been extensively Doppler shifted into the infrared section of the spectrum. Infrared light may also be detected in space, penetrating through clouds and nebulae to expose the things hidden behind them. Optical observations, such as those made by Hubble and GMT, are ideal for spectroscopy and determining the compositions of bodies such as exoplanets. GMT's massive size will also allow it to identify extremely faint and distant things. However, before the giant Magellan telescope can power on, there is still a lot of work to do. The fifth mirror is already cooling in the furnace, and three more must be cast. One additional outer mirror to keep the telescope operational while mirrors are cleaned and recoated with aluminum. The 17-ton mirrors must also be observed from Arizona to Chile in articulated, temperature-controlled, shock-absorbing boxes by port in either Houston or Los Angeles. The GMT project is a paradigm change. Private interests, foreign partners, universities and research organizations from across the world have joined forces to create this magnificent monument to science in the high Atacama Desert. Boeing is performing fluid dynamics research for the telescope's housing construction, while NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is offering mirror understanding gained from Hubble's errors. Several universities and institutions all around the world have come together to make this project possible. 
The fact that research organizations all around the world are eager to get engaged with the Giant Magellan Telescope demonstrates its potential, adaptability, and the profundity that astronomers hope to encounter via its 119-ton mirror glinting on a mountainside in the Atacama Desert. GMT's exceptional light-gathering power and resolution will also aid with many other intriguing topics in 21st century astronomy. What exactly are dark matter and dark energy, two enigmatic entities that make up the vast majority of our universe? How did the first stars emerge from the Big Bang's diffuse gas? What caused the earliest galaxies to form? What is the fate of our universe? GMT will help us to gain a deeper understanding of all these questions. So, what do you think about this revolutionizing telescope? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It encourages us to keep on making high-quality content for you.